The woman who founded the massage parlors that recently got busted for offering male clients um, extra services, I guess you would call it. Uh, although she doesn't own them anymore. She didn't own them when that happened, but she is the one who founded them. A woman by the name of Lee Cindy Yang here in the state of Florida is now under FBI investigation. But this investigation is actually not related to her connection with those uh, massage parlors, which also happened to be the one where Robert Kraft was busted at. Now she's being investigated for potentially illegal contributions to Donald Trump's campaigns. She's also already under investigation for uh, potentially selling access to Donald Trump and other prominent conservatives here in the state of Florida uh, to Chinese nationals. We also know that the woman who recently infiltrated Mar-a-Lago uh, attempting to install spyware was drawn there to Mar-a-Lago by Cindy Yang. So Cindy Yang is in a lot of trouble right now. Two different FBI investigations, but this most recent one only centers around her donations to Donald Trump's campaign, his PACs, his reelection, whatever it is. The FBI is pretty positive that this woman is given way more money than she was legally allowed to do. Now let's be clear. This does not implicate Donald Trump in anything. If this woman was giving extra money or illegal money, that's not his problem. That's her problem. But really, isn't it his problem though? And isn't it the problem of every other conservative who's been photographed with this woman? I mean, she took a selfie of herself and Donald Trump watching the Super Bowl together just this year. She has pictures of herself with Matt Gates, our new governor, Ron DeSantis, our new idiotic Senator, Rick Scott. This woman knows pretty much every prominent Republican politician that comes through the great state of Florida. But it's only the contributions to Trump, right? That's the only time she was doing something questionable. According to what we know about this investigation, she also had one of her friends give a donation to Donald Trump's campaigns in the, uh, to the tune of $5,400. And she physically went over to the woman's house and actually physically helped her write the check. So the FBI wants to know, is there some kind of money laundering going here? Is this some kind of illegal campaign contribution scheme? What in the hell is Cindy Yang actually doing down here in the state of Florida? And I think that's a, a question that a lot of us want answered, not just in the state of Florida, but probably all over the country. This woman is connected again to every prominent Republican politician that this state has to offer. And apparently that DC has to offer in the form of Donald Trump and of course his family. She's been selling access to Mar-a-Lago. The fact that it's taken so long for these investigations to really get off the ground, that's also troublesome. I mean, the FBI should have been looking into this a long time ago, especially when they found out that she was the one who founded the massage parlors that they had been investigating forever. Don't you think it had been worthwhile to maybe just kind of look into what else she had going on? I mean, they're already investigating the other massage parlors that she does own because they believe that there's some illegal prostitution happening there as well. But this woman is corrupt to the core. And she's also very chummy with every Republican that we have to offer. You know, my mother always told me you judged by the company you keep. You know, always seek out the, the, the good people to be your friends, the good people to hang around with, because you fall into the wrong crowd, people are going to start thinking you're just like them. Well, guess what? Cindy Yang is the wrong crowd. Cindy Yang has likely broken the law on many different occasions here. And yet she is hanging out with every Republican willing to spend just a little bit of time with her or every Republican that she's given just a little bit of money to. You can't separate the two. All of these Republican politicians who have their ugly smiling faces in these pictures with Cindy Yang, I think these investigations need to extend to them as well. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member 
of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.